Hi guys, I'm Nakadachan, and welcome to my reaction for Kubera. I'm back again after some time, so I hope I did not forget anything important. I just, I'm sorry, I did not have a time, even though I really, really wanted to come back. It just, many things happened, yeah. And it's kind of hard for me to do reaction on two webtoons, because I'm also reacting to Tower of God, and it takes a, quite a long time to edit the videos, yeah. But back to Kubera. So previously, we kind of got introduced to the main character, Kubera. Um, how she kind of is living, that there is something weird happening around her, right? For some kind of reason, she was living in a secluded village in the woods, uh, kind of far from other civilization. It seemed like she was being hidden from some kind of reason from outside world, so I'm very interested in that. And seems like some people, especially her parents, her mother, knew something. Yeah, because they did not want her to use her real name. So that's just weird. Very weird. Uh, then she went to the forest for some mushroom picking for some mushrooms and she got lost and met like these weird stranger right who was kind of threatening but also helped her helped her a little so i want to know what's like going on there and he also mistook her for someone he knew and then her village just got blown up yeah <laughs> what the hell is going on right I'm I'm very interested. So I, I guess I'm just going to continue with chapter 3. Yeah. So, yeah. We are back to the village exploding into Kaboom. Uh, that would definitely be shocking for everyone. I mean, when a place where you live just explodes, right? It's nothing very nice. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I mean, you were probably in shock. And probably your mind was going through some crazy shit or you were just blank. Yeah. Yeah, she dropped the shrooms. Re reasonable, because that is not important stuff at that moment. In such a shock. No, I wasn't thinking at all. Okay, yeah, I was saying maybe she was blank. It's just such a shock that blank. You just cannot think of anything. Just in the moment. That's all. You're trying to absorb what is happening. Yeah. Everything she knew her whole life is gone. And she was a very secluded person. So, yeah, that's horrible. Especially because she was secluded and she never ever like went too far away from her village from the people if she knew so like losing it must be horrible like yeah it would be horrible even if you like were somewhere else but for someone so secluded the village means everything to her yeah it was kind of like her little safe bubble Therefore, okay, she's running, I guess. I don't remember how I went down the cliff. Somehow, <laughs> I guess. Or she just ran down. Okay. <laughs> a girl with a god's name, yeah. She just went down the cliff because she was in such a shock that, like, yeah, she wanted to go there to see what is happening. But damn, girl, you just ran straight down. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. When did I get down here? She didn't even realize that. I was up there. Stuff happened, apparently. She was in such a shock. Damn, who cares? My priority is going to my village. I mean, what I'm supposed to say to that? <laughs> 
It might be dangerous there though, especially because something happened. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but it might be very dangerous. But like, I understand why she's running there, because it's place dear to her. It's only place she has with people she knows, only people. But still, it might be hella dangerous to go there. The sky turned red. I don't know what happened, but... I hope everything is okay and everyone. Well, I would not be hoping that much. But like, it's a natural reaction to have hope. Sadly. Uh, she's remembering all these moments with people she was... Like I've said, because she's secluded and this is a small village. The relations she has, like relationships she has, are extremely strong. Extremely strong. So she must know the whole village perfectly well. Every person in there if it is a small village. Right? Yeah, so losing everything would be very hard for her. Right? It's not like when you live in a big town and you probably knew only a few people, right? Like from places where you go often, or like people which live, I don't know, on the same floor with you. Like, but like, even with that, you might not know them that well because you are not having any kind of relationships with them. It's just like, they are familiar faces. It's completely different with her case. Yeah, all the adventures and stuff she experienced with these people. She's remembering it. Her mother. <laughs> that was very ominous in previous chapters, like when the the door were closing and the kind of like her standing there and slowly went darker. I mean, <laughs> I was so obvious something bad is going to happen. Come on. Okay, yep. Um... I guess this is the place. There is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, poor girl. Gone. Everything is gone. Everything and everyone. I mean, very low possibility of someone surviving that. Only if they were lucky and went away at that moment. Everyone's gone. What is this? There is some kind of writing on this. The question for... Is this a moth? Rip, don't doodle you kids. Ah, oh, this might be some place and the kids were like doodling on it and kind of stay there. Because it survived. No, wait. Stop thinking like that. I should look for them first. She's still having hope, despite she's seeing this, she's like, I cannot be thinking of worst thing possible, there still might be someone surviving. Yeah, because, like, in this kind of state, your brain is going like crazy and you're trying to rationalize things, but also you want to have hope, right? So she doesn't want to be too negative. Negative, what is? Of course everyone's alive. They must be hiding somewhere. And they'll pop out saying surprise. Well, this might be too positive, girl. <laughs> oh, but like I've said, losing everything you ever had is a um, treat. Then I will beat the crap out of Cass and yell at him for destroying the village for a crazy birthday surprise. Uh, uh, I, I don't think that's a birthday surprise. <laughs> I mean, she is now trying to kind of be positive, even forcefully. Like, this cannot be true. Something must happen. I don't know. Even if it doesn't make sense, there must be a life or something like that. Yeah. In the end, everyone will be laughing in the party. Especially because it's her birthday, right? Crush. Oh, oh is someone... Immediately, she's so positive and happy because she thinks someone is alive, but I don't really know. Okay, it's probably not someone familiar, given her face. Oh, who the hell are you? We saw him, like, in the prologue in chapter zero, right? 
one of the pictures, I think. Okay, you are intriguing character. I like your design, sir. All in red. Okay, is he the one who did all of this? Well, I guess I will need to wait a little. A white and red creature standing on the broken pieces of buildings. Interesting way to put it, I would say dude or person, and she's saying creature. I mean, given that they were talking about quarters and half links, halves or something like that, so yeah, there must be something going with that. He's pretty. Very pretty. But who are you? That's him. Okay. That's the guy who destroyed my village. I mean, would make sense, right? The whole village is done, there is nothing left, there are only a few rubbles, and then like, there's this dude standing. It would be natural to think is the person who did it, and he probably did that. Question is, why? I mean, was he looking for someone? Or like, what's going on? I know Kubera is hidden. So is it like because of her, or there is something bigger happening? You bastard. What have you done? What did you do with the people? She's still not gonna... I think everyone is dead. But she still thinks the people might be alive. Okay. No answer. Why are you here, sir? Can you please answer me? What is going on? Stop staring at me and answer, you bastard. Oh. Okay, maybe... Seems like there is someone else. Was it because of that someone else? Yeah, he's so nonchalant. Like... Huh. <laughs> he's not doing anything. He's not saying anything. He's just standing there. Oh, or maybe he was trying to do something. But someone is taking her away? Oh, it's this dude. Okay. What is he doing? Is he trying to like get her away? Or like what is going on? I have no idea. Is he trying to hide behind her? Who is the good and who is the bad? I don't really know. Who is this person? I'm trying to remember. I know there was a person who was going towards this village. Was it this man? Or someone else? Were they like... Was he like meeting with this person and they were like fighting and destroyed the village meanwhile that was happening? Or what is going on? But it's like Kubera, does she have something to do with all of this? Because she was hidden. So like there must be something with her. Right? I feel like she was hidden from something, or from someone. I just don't know the situation. Okay, he is doing someone something. He is doing some kind of magic, I guess. Oh! Hati Wayu, Hati Chandra. What is he doing? Some kind of spell? Damn, this, the red man though is doing some kind of magic. Kaboom shit. Wow, that's a crater. He's very strong and very powerful. He doesn't look pleased at all. Did they escape? Okay, he's just standing there. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess he kinda transported. Like the blue hair dude. So I guess that was what he was trying to do. He saw that his man is attacking, so he caught the girl and transported with her. That was the spell he was doing. I guess the words he was saying. What else it could be, right? Yeah, yeah. The red man is not very happy. I don't know their names, so I'm just going to call them by their colors for now. Yeah, and he's watching him from like far away or 
a little far back. Do you have any idea what that is? Even a group of magicians can be that thing. You should be more careful. Not? I can understand how you feel after seeing your village like that. What? Okay, he is calling the man it. Or that. That thing. That's not very nice. I understand there is some kind of problem with like creatures or whatever because there are halves and quarters, so maybe it's like mixed with them to have some kind of powers or whatever. But like it's kind of rude to be calling someone who is apparently a being, even though they, they might be like something different, that thing. <laughs> so he saved her. I can understand how you feel. I don't really know who can understand. Maybe. Anyhow, you were lucky. You'd have turned to dust if I didn't get there in time. Given that crater the red dude did, yeah, probably indeed. So can you explain what is going on, sir? I don't know if that person who was going there was this sir or different sir, but I think he had a similar hair, so maybe it was this dude. I'll take you to Atera city without being seen. You'll be safe once you're in the city. Well, that's cool that you're helping us, but can you please explain what the fuck is going on? Let go of me. Yeah, of course she's not going to go because she is probably hella confused what the frig is happening. Like, maybe at least a tiny little bit of explanation, even though I know the dude is still right there. But like, she needs explanation. Like, it's just too much of things happening right now for her to be just... Okay, I guess I'm going with you. You can be a little bit nicer, sir. Be safe in the city? And then what? What will happen next? Everyone I knew was in this town. Do you think I want to run away by myself? Yeah, it's just too much. I'll die here if I have to. Okay, girl, no, we don't have a need for this. But I understand, like, everything what meant something for her is gone, so... Yeah, makes sense. Like, is there a reason for me to move somewhere else when everyone dear to me is dead? Everything I kinda cared for? Like, what am I supposed to do now? Like, what does it matter? Well, she's determined. At least I'll give my everything against that thing before I die. Okay, so she she wants to fight him? Girl, that's very unreasonable. I mean, kind of reasonable, but kind of stupid. I, I don't think this would help. Like, if you want a revenge, be smart. <laughs> Train, get stronger. And then you might get your revenge. But like rushing there to this dude who can obviously just lift a hand and made a huge crater because big kaboom would be stupid idea. It would not help the people which are dead. You would not gain anything from it. You would just die. So be smarter than this. So whether I turn to dust or not, mind your own business. Well, he's trying to help you, but probably he should explain a little bit to help her with her feet. May yeah, maybe he should explain a little bit, because, yeah, like, if you want to fight him, like I've said, uh, be a little smarter. But he might also hear them because she's yelling. Seems like that's the case. Okay. <laughs> to be continued, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> this is uh, uncalled for, that was quick. Okay, so she just ran down the cliff like nothing. Intriguing. And ran through the village. She met this person here. This dude in the red. I love the design, he looks cool, but like. Why is he here? What is the purpose? Why he did that? What is going on, right? 
And then this blue dude saved her. Blue haired man and blue outfit saved her. Apparently both of these dudes can use magic. I assume transporting somewhere is just magic, right? I don't know, like, again, I don't know what this red dude wants to do. Why is he here even? It's, he is very strong though, apparently, because not even group of magicians can beat him. But if it is the dude we saw going towards the village, why he was going there though? Did he know? Did he knew something like this is going to happen? Because like even that uh, stranger she found in the forest was kind of trying to get her away from that place. Like he knew this is going to happen. So like what is going on? What is going on? Oh, one answers. But yeah, uh, Kubera, this is not a time to be like fighting ready because you probably don't stand, stand a freaking chance against that dude even if you are really determined and probably really really pissed yeah just leave the blue hard man to do their to do his stuff <laughs> yeah i think he's a little smarter than you are right now because you're full of emotions okay i'm going to do next chapter then Okay, back to let go of me. We saw this already. Okay, did you turn around and saw her? Okay, I guess they were hiding behind the bushes. Okay, what does he want? Oh. Well, girl, you should have thought about this earlier, seriously, but I get it. She's full of emotions because stuff happened, so... It's kind of hard to be rational and logical. What? What? Why is he standing still? He attacked me a while ago. Maybe he was attacking because of the dude? I don't know. I don't really know what this red man wants. Whether I attack first or run away, he wouldn't care if I make the first move? Am I nothing to him? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I cannot see in his hat. Maybe he's waiting for something or he's just thinking of something. I don't know. And the blue hair dude said he's extremely strong, so it would really not matter for him. How could he look so calm after destroying my village? Jerk, I'm so pissed off. I want to kill him. I would understand the emotions, but we don't know what's behind this. We don't know why he came here. We don't know what happened. We don't know why the blue hair dude was here. I mean, we don't know the bl blue hair dude. It could have been him. It's easy to put blame on creature, right? Even if it would not be behind it, because apparently these creatures people do not really look nice on them, so yeah. Who knows? Who knows who is the real culprit? <laughs> right? It looks very calm. Yeah. Maybe he has a bee with a blue hair dude. I don't really know what is going on. But but why can I stand up? Maybe you are scared? Maybe you understand that this is kind of impossible? Just as I thought, you can't even stand up because of the fear. You are all talk and no action. At the same time, you are disrespectful and rude. You have all the elements of unseemly person. What? You don't know who you are dealing with. And you can make anything of the situation. Also, you are easily swayed by certain feelings. You must have no brain. I mean, when the feelings kind of make sense. Okay, needless to say, your life will be in vain. I guess your death could be better for the sake of this world. Why? Hey! 
<laughs> and Zim saying all of this. I mean, he's kind of right. She's extremely emotional right now, which, again, I kind of understand because all the people, the whole village gone, but like rushing there and dying would not really help. And you would not achieve anything by that. I have a name and it's Asha, not Hey. And if you wanna die, die alone. Don't drag me into it. <laughs> okay, Asha. You can't see us until the effects of Hati Chandra disappears. Okay. So he used some kind of magic and he cannot see them. But he's still looking there. Maybe he is feeling something, maybe. Okay, Hati Chandra. This is a magic that distorts the five senses for a certain period of time in a certain area. It doesn't work for enemies who have a sixth sense. Okay, we don't know if this dude has some kind of sixth sense. Yeah, he might be feeling still something. He might feel that something is strange, but to him, this spot looks exactly the same as before. Okay, but you will get seen if you leave the magical boundary. And then, even I'll be in danger. Okay, yeah, because when she would leave it, he would know that there is some kind of magical something, so he would put his attention to it. <laughs> Confusion, like, something is weird here and I don't know what. <laughs> Even if I get caught, I do have a way to run away. But I would like to get out of here using the least amount of magic. I know that you are an idiot, but you do understand what I'm saying, right? Okay! <laughs> That's a little bit harsh, but it kinda has a point. <laughs> Not going to lie. He's very cautious. He doesn't really want to fight that dude. Very obviously. <laughs> This poor girl. Everyone is just being so mean to her. Yep, thanks for the explanation. I do understand it loud and clear. And thanks for trying to save me, and I apologize for being rude. At the very least, I don't want you to remember me, Kubera Lee's, as the worst human in the world. Okay, girl, but uh, you don't really need to do anything stupid still. Okay, that name sparked something. So he didn't know about her. But a name, I guess, is sparking something. Telling him my name isn't important right now. Who cares about names in this kind of situation? Well, girl, what your freaking family said, your mother, that you should not be talking about your name? Like, somewhere else? That you should choose a different name because probably apparently something and these people are outside your village so it's not good jesus christ this girl <laughs> seriously if me running out of here is a problem i'll circle around to the back that then it's okay with you right i won't cause any new problems for you this girl is so stupid i can't Girl, I understand you are mad at a rat, dude. But just going up against him and dying in vain would not help all the people who just died. It would be another number and he would not achieve anything. Going with this dude and maybe train in something like in magic, because magic works in this world and it's in this world, and whatever, to gain some strength more strength and then maybe one day being able to defeat this guy and get your revenge it's definitely a better plan takes a long time yeah i know but just running up in there and dying is stupid because you're not going to save anyone if there would be someone okay i would understand because you would try to save someone but like there's not anyone else everyone is dead everything is destroyed so like you would not achieve anything here Haughty Brahma, so he's doing something. Did he like tied her or something? Or just stripped her? Oh yeah, he tied her. What are you doing? 
Uh, preventing you from doing something hella stupid, girl. <laughs> Seriously, do you have brains? I take back what I said about you being unseemly. Hmm. I really want to leave you, but unfortunately you have that name. I'll protect you even if I have to use all my magic. Well, he changed very quickly. What does that name mean? Why he changed so quickly? What are you talking about? Maybe explain stuff to us, sir. There is so much things happening, we don't know what the hell is going on. I clearly told you that I don't want to run away. Well, and he is clearly saying that he is going to protect you. No matter what. I know, you said I'll die here if I have to, right? If you know, if you know that, why are you grabbing me? Um... Uh, I think he's going to teleport again, because I don't care what you think. Okay. <laughs> Gasp. Yeah, something about that name, who the Kubera is. I mean, a girl with a god's name, okay, that's valid, darling. Hmm. But like, what does it mean? What does this mean? What is going on? Why is she so important? Haughty wire. Okay. So he notices something, but I guess they are already gone. Hmm. <laughs> the imprint. Yeah, they are gone. I guess. Do you have something to tell us, sir? What is happening? I think we lost him. We can start walking from here. Hey, what do you mean by walking? You don't think that I'm going to follow you just like that. Dream on. I will never follow you. You thought I will give up if you put me in the middle of nowhere? You're wrong. I'm good with direction. Yeah, we saw that. You're very good with directions, girl. In the places you've never been in. Oh yeah, then why don't you have some fun with the small suras which are hungry? Oh. What? Mosura, adolescent stage of Sura. They have a good appetite. Their habitat is way far from the humans, because of hunters. So that's why they weren't around the village, apparently, probably. Why are they transported? Are you serious? Do you even know how I feel right now? I don't know, he probably understands. But like, le letting you die really won't achieve anything. Well, let me guess. You cannot go of the monster which destroyed your village, but when you confronted him, you couldn't do anything knowing his strength. So yeah, that would wa make one pissed a little. You said I'll die here if I have to, but you are scared to be left alone, in an unfamiliar place. You ways are pretty well. You say one thing and do another, but two things are clear. You want revenge and you want to survive. Exactly, but that won't happen. Right now, when you're a wee girl. Sorry. Don't make a stupid assumption. You think you are a mind reader or something? No, it's very clear. <laughs> it's very clear. Come on, girl. <laughs> it just screams. You're just screaming it. I don't need to be a mind reader to know that. Because a kid who should be crying is holding it in. The child was also like that. The kid swallowed her tears, swearing revenge. I want revenge. I want revenge. I want revenge. I need to survive to take vengeance. Okay. What is going on here? Intriguing. That child was only 10 years old when she decided to live for revenge after losing everything. She's totally different from someone who is whiny saying, I don't care if I die, huh? 10 years has passed since then and that child hasn't gotten what she wanted yet. It's okay. I, I guess it's she. I thought it's he. <laughs> is she talking about herself? So she is a girl. I thought she's a dude. She looks very well. Okay. Okay. I was kind of confused. What the hell is going on? I mean, Asha is kind of female ish name. Yeah, that would make kind of sense. <laughs> You never know, you know, because these characters kind of look very pretty. So, like, 
she could have passed as a dude, no problem. Okay, so she's a woman. <laughs> my mistake. My mistake. But she's still hot, so that doesn't change anything. So she was talking about herself. She also wants revenge. Something bad happened. Well, she understands pretty well, I guess. So she knows exactly what Kubra is going through. But just remember that you are not the only unfortunate in this world. So find someone else if you want to keep whining like a baby. Harsh, but kind of true. If Asha was going through exactly the same thing, she's probably going to be a little bit more harsher than a normal person who wasn't going through something extremely similar. Right, like losing someone because she might be a little bit of projecting and also she doesn't want to sugarcoat things for Kubera. Yeah, she wants to kind of set her on like, stop just saying this stupid shit, I won't help anyone because she, I guess, was through something similar and you would just die in vain. So like, suck it up. <laughs> And do something more clever than just, I don't care if I die, I'm just going to go there and try to do something even though I would definitely die because I have no knowledge nor strength or whatever. Yeah. So, she exactly understands how she feels. Oh, what is this? Looks like a problem. Seriously, she looks like a dude. What the heck? <laughs> Look at it. She looks like a dude. <laughs> Is this on purpose? <laughs> I'm confused, <laughs> really. I'm really confused. Okay, thanking her hand. And running away. Oh, okay, I will go with you. You don't have to drag me. I guess she... Kubara doesn't understand what's going on. Because she suddenly grabbed her and just is running away. But there is more dangerous. Like, I don't know what the frick is happening, but something is swooping down on you. A white and red creature. It... Um... Mm, does it have something to do with that dude? Because they were talking about him as that thing. It didn't take long to notice that a shadow was his. So it's that dude he can turn into this? I like it, actually. That's why that thing and not a human. So what is he, actually? But he looks cool in both ways, I don't really mind. <laughs> as a human, as a creature, if it is really him. But yeah, he's going right after them. Ugh, it doesn't look good at all. Damn. Yep, that's not good at all. I guess that's what he did previously, something like this. Big kaboom, everything done and gone. To be continued. Lovely. Seriously hitting it right here. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh my god, this is just a start and so many things are already happening. So Asha is a girl despite she looks really like a dude. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't give that girly aura out of her. This dude, I don't know why he came here, I guess to destroy the village for some kind of reason. He attacked Aisha. And Kubara, I don't know what is going on. There seems to be a bigger picture, but like nobody told us what is happening, even Aisha. So like I have no idea what the frick is going on, but it has something to do with Kubera's name, apparently. So something about her, about her family, I don't know. I don't really know. And also Aisha kinda setting her straight with her revenge stuff. Because she experienced something extremely similar. Yeah, she lost someone she cared for. He transformed here into that bird thing. 
Well, yeah. And it's going after them. I wonder. So here, Aisha, I assume the girl, is holding someone's head? That is concerning. For sure. Yikes. And she still did not get her revenge. That's sad. It is really sad. But I guess revenge is not as easy as you might think. Especially when the world is very complicated. We don't know what happened. So it's probably not going to be that easy even after so many years. And sometimes you need to like plan things very carefully. Yeah. Yeah, but it seems like she really set Kubra straight with what she said. Because Kubra thought like she is being very rude and very mean and she doesn't understand her, but like she said there was this girl who experienced something horrible and she wanted her revenge too, but even after so such a long time she still did not get it. So Aisha understands what she what Kubra is going through. But like being acting so stupidly really would not help. <laughs> yeah. He's going after them, but like I love the design, so cool looking. I mean we are not seeing much shadow here and like tiny little bit of parts here and there. Like his hat here. But I love it. I love the design. And it's freaking powerful. Now I understand why she said not even a group of magicians would be able to destroy him or defeat him. <laughs> when he has such a power like this to kaboom so much space in an instant? Yeah. Try fighting that. I guess Aisha can teleport, so... That's a good way how to escape. Because I guess she can go further away. So escape from blasts like this. Normal people, nah. <laughs> they would not be able to escape. If they cannot teleport or have some kind of other magical whatever bullshit at disposal. Damn. Damn it. Well, this is very interesting. And it's escalating very quickly. Like, what the hell? <laughs> right? Oh my. What is happening? Why is this red dude creature going after them? And what Aisha knows? Why she, why she is nearby this village also? Maybe she saw the dude, so she went after him? Or like, why? why? Though, weren't people in the village saying something about some kind of magician they knew? I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe she had, she knew someone in the village and she was just like visiting or it was just a coincidence because she did not seem to knew Kubera, right? If she would be familiar, she would knew her, but she did not. So I don't really know why she was there. And I don't know like if the dude in red is attacking her or Kubera or both. It's kind of hard to tell. Like why the village was destroyed. Hmm. But very intriguing. I do really want to know what is happening. Like I said, there is some kind of bigger picture behind all of this. It just, the information given to us is very sparse, so it's very hard to make a connection, what is going on, right? There could be like multiple things happening, or, you know, what is happening, but I don't know which one I should pick from the things I'm thinking, what is right. Yeah, but it's definitely intriguing. And I definitely want to know what the hell is going on. Why Kubera is so important. And why the village was destroyed. And what is that dude? Right? I mean both dudes. The dude, the stranger in the forest, and this dude, a bird, 
right? Red one. Well, I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.